guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you this old, glamorous, Hollywood inspired hair tutorial. I just think that it is so romantic and beautiful and I think that it would be perfect for date night. I tried to envision what I thought was the perfect hairstyle for Valentine's Day and I imagined big, voluminous curls, but I want to do something a little bit more unique. So when I came across this picture of Jessica Alba on Pinterest, I just knew that's what I wanted to recreate, so let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a curling iron or a curling wand. You'll want one that's on the larger side. This one is a 32 millimeter barrel. These are old Hollywood curls, so you definitely need hairspray. The L'Oreal that one is my absolute favorite. It's got that strong hold without the crusty feeling. And to help us get really defined long lasting curls, I have these alligator clips to just clip my curls while they cool and you can also use bobby pins. And you also want to have a clip handy just to help section off your hair while we're curling it. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair, but day two, three hair will probably actually work even better for this. And I already went ahead and clipped in four wefts of my Luxie hair extensions. I wear the color Ash Blonde. So what I did is I clipped together two three clip wefts and I clipped them into my hair just below my ear. And then I clipped together my two four clip wefts and I clipped those ones just above my ears. Having the extensions is just going to help you get those big voluminous curls. And I highly recommend doing a really deep sided part for this hairstyle, doesn't matter which side, but I like to use the end of a rat tail comb just to make sure that it's really straight. Okay, so what I did is I sectioned my hair off just above my ears, and then I'm just going to take this bottom section, divide it down the middle, and bring it forward. Next, I always, always, always hold my wand in my dominant hand, no matter which side I'm working on, and for these specific curls, you want to keep the wand horizontal. So we're going to want majority of the curls to go towards our face which I'm not used to but trust me it looks incredible so what I'm gonna do is grab like two inch sections kind of large so I'm really just dividing this into two and then I'm going to take my wand so I'm gonna start on the opposite side of my dominant hand right so I'm working across and then what you want to do is place the wand underneath the section close to the root right at the end of the barrel here and then you want your hair to lay flat as possible and you just want to start wrapping all the way to the end to the back of your head make sure you get the end of your hair too okay so I hold it for about 10 seconds and then when you release the curl try your best to catch it so you can either hold them in your hand to let them cool but I want them to last a really long time so I'm gonna go in with my alligator clip rewrap this curl you didn't do a very good job catching it <laughs> but I have a lot of more chances to redeem myself. So just roll it back up. It, this doesn't have to be perfect. And then just clip it and let it cool. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time on this side. So one is in my dominant hand. I'm doing the opposite side. We're gonna ho hold it horizontally and place it underneath the section up close to the root. And then you wanna wrap the hair nice and flat around your barrel all the way to the end. And then hold for about 10 seconds. All right, and then you want to try to catch it. I'm going to redeem myself this time. Ready? Yeah, I'm careful. Yes. All right, so I'm just going to clip this one into place, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do the other side. Okay, now this side. So, same thing as before, just dividing this into two sections, a rather large section. One is in my dominant hand, and it'd be a little awkward holding it towards the back of your head like last time. So now, the wand is going to be pointing towards the front of our head and I'm going to place it on top of the section. So as close to the root as possible and then wrapping the hair nice and flat all the way to the end. I didn't do it as well that time. So wrap it up and don't forget to clip it into place while it cools. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more time. If you're having a hard time remembering like which way to point the wand and all that stuff, I will put like a cheat sheet down below. But what you can also do is point it down just like you normally would, wrap the hair towards your face, flip it horizontal, and then carefully roll it up to your roots. It'll give you a really similar effect. Now that I'm done with the bottom section, I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair off at my temples and repeat the same steps. So on the opposite side of my dominant hand, placing my wand underneath the section as close to the root as you can. So the top of the wand is pointing towards the back of my head and then wrapping the hair flat all the way to the end of the barrel. That was a perfect catch, you guys. 
And then on the same side as my dominant hand, we're just placing the wand on top of the section, wrapping the hair around the wand all the way to the end. And then remember to clip your curls or hold them in your hand as they cool. So I went ahead and curled the rest of my hair away from my face, except for this top area. I have all of the hair to the side of my part here, almost all the way to the back, and then to the side of my forehead. So it's like a big square of hair. And what we're gonna do with this is we're just going to curl it away from our face so it gives us that really pretty swoop effect. So exact same steps, except now I'm gonna put it underneath so that the curls go away. Now that my whole head is clipped, I'm just going to go ahead, spray it with some hairspray to lock it in. Guys, this is a brand new can of hairspray. They've definitely changed the scent. Oh yeah, it's definitely lighter. I mean, it's not amazing, but has anyone else noticed that? Anyways, just let these sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll take them out. Now for the fun part, you just want to remove the clips. You want to do it gently so that the curls still hold their shape, but you can always go in and do touch-ups later on. I can tell you right now that my curls definitely would not look this defined if I hadn't went ahead and clipped them, so I highly suggest doing so for this hairstyle. So one more quick spray of hairspray. And then how to transform the curls is also the scariest part. But don't worry, what you want to do is take a comb or a brush and then just divide your hair down the back, pull it forward so you have two sections. And then you just want to hold the curls against your body and gently comb them out really slow just to break up the curl a little bit. And then just gently comb over the top of the curl so that you're left with more of a wave versus a ringlet. Okay, so I'm not done, but you can see right away that this side looks a little bit more elegant and soft opposed to this side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Pulling the curls against my body and then just gently combing them out so that they're softer. And then any curls that are a little too perfect, just make sure that you comb them out. So go ahead and tease your hair if you want additional volume at the top, but I just like to use dry shampoo. It gives me the right amount of volume that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to gently lift my hair and just spray it right on the roots. This side too. Then gently kind of fluff it up. Okay, so it looks really cute like this, but I think it looks particularly nice if you tuck this behind your ear. And you can leave it like this, but I want to create like a little bit of volume. Yeah, kind of like this. So I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin it right behind my ear. And so there we have you guys. You can leave your bangs down like this, or you can hairspray them up. I will leave some inspiration pictures for you guys down below so that they'll help you decide. But there you have it. That's how you get these glamorous old Hollywood curls. I told you guys that the curls going towards your face would look really pretty in the end. Like, I absolutely love this look. It's just you rarely see hair done like this anymore, so I think it would be so unique and you'll definitely stand out. I think this hairstyle is so perfect for not only a date night, but a formal event as well. Especially if you're somebody that keeps it pretty simple, usually wears the hair down, then this is just a really easy way to change up your hairstyle. Especially if you put in like a really pretty hair clip right here, I think that it would be Stunning. Because you'll have to let me know what you thought of this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you tried it out and where you ended up wearing it. I love interacting with you guys more than you'll ever know. So with Valentine's Day coming up, let me know what you guys are doing. Are you planning on staying in, watching sappy movies? Maybe you have a date to a nice restaurant or maybe all your girlfriends are getting together. Let me know. I would love to hear. But I love you all so much. Thank you for the continuous support and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.